Hey guys, what's going on? Spynate here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get basic electricity in volts. So first of all, before you even think about like about getting electricity, go on a couple of mining trips and get some supplies. These are these are the ores we're going to be using today. We're going to be using some iron, some coal, redstone, copper, tin, osmium, and you're going to need some wool. So yeah, all right, we're going to start off making the metallurgic infuser. Now, let me show you what that is. All right, this is the metallurgic infuser. So what this does, it creates alloys such as steel and bronze. And that's going to become very useful when you're trying to make a lot of machines. So before we start making this, we got to make some enriched iron. And to make this, just grab some redstone and iron, place in your inventory, and there. You're going to want at least like 20 of this, maybe. And then you just put it in the furnace. Then what comes out is uh, enriched alloys. Now, using these enriched alloys, you're going to want to make the, uh, you want to make control circuits. So you just surround it with o osmium ingots. So just a tr diamond. I don't know why I'm getting a little bit of a lag. All right, there you go. So that's a control circuit. Now to finish this build, all you have to do is get two furnaces. Um, I think it's a couple of some iron and another enriched alloy. So you just want to make this like so. There you go. So we've created the first machine, the metallurgic infuser. Just place it down. As you see, um, this is it. If you wanted to power it up without um, electricity you could always use redstone but it's pretty costly I would say so as you see that fills up but it's not too too good honestly so okay we have the metallurgic infuser the next thing we're gonna make is the coal generator so this is the, the device which will provide the electricity however to make this you're gonna need some steel so firstly we're gonna have to place a diamond of coal around well, you got to make quite a lot, though, around um, iron to get steel dust. Now, what you can do is you can put it in the furnace and smelt it, and that will turn into steel ingots. All right, so we're going to need the coal generator. Let me show you the uh, formula. So you're going to need three, four, five, six, seven steel ingots around it, and then a motor, which you need four more. As you see, we need some copper wire. Now, this is where the wool comes in. So just take some wool and some copper out, place a copper in the middle row, then along the top and bottom row just place some wool, like so, and there you go, we've created some copper wire. Now let's go finish this build. We make steel in a triangle, or not triangle, sorry, diamond, like so, and then copper on the outside. So now we have our motor, place a motor, a furnace, and then just steel all around. So we have our, uh, wait, let me make it, there you go, so you can see better. So we have our coal generator, this is the thing that's going to be producing our electricity for us. Okay, the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make something that can store this. Um, so we're going to use make a bat box. So we're going to need at least another six steel to make it. So as you can, bat box, there you go. That's how you make it. You're going to need three empty batteries along the middle. And to make this, all you have to do is get some redstone coal and some tin. So you see this involves a lot of redstone and coal. So I recommend mining quite a bit of it. Now we want to make three. So other way around, there you go. Three empty batteries. Now just place this like so, and steel ingots like so. Oh my god, shaky hands today. Okay, so we have something to store our electricity in, and place it like that. Now I'm going to give you a tip here. Um, this means output the black square. So if we wanted to output the electricity from here into here, you're going to have to put the red here because that's the input. So we would do this, and then we'd wire this up via the output of this. 
So we're going to put some coal in this and show you how it works. So it's going to heat up the uh, engine or the hole. So uh, after a while, once it starts heating up completely, it will start putting some energy into that. So let's let that put some energy while we make the next thing. The next thing we're going to make is the enrichment chamber. Now if you don't know what this does, uh, it converts any type of ore into two pieces of dust which can be smelted into ingots. For for example, if I play if I placed uh if I got sixty four iron ore, then I would get six two stacks of uh iron dust if I placed it in the the um enrichment chamber and then I could smelt in smelt that into two stacks of ingots. So pretty much it doubles your your ore count, I could call it. So you're gonna make have to make two more of these um control circuits. So you know how to make them. Just place your enriched alloy like so. Then we're gonna need um steel casing which is like so. And finally redstone alright. Yeah I don't I haven't memorized these uh formulas but it can work out like so. Alright, so we have an enrichment chamber now. So this is everything we have to build. As you see, it's filled up. It's not the quickest method of uh, producing electricity. However, it is basic, and this is covering basic electricity. And it's covering like basic needs. So we're going to place that. As you see, it fills it up quickly. Let me take out this redstone. I don't need it. So yeah. If I were to show you how this works, I'm going to place some iron ore in it, and that will create it into iron dust. I just want to show you quickly before I summarize what we covered, like that. Alright, okay, to summarize what we did, we created four machines. Firstly, the metallurgic infuser to make alloys such as bronze and steel. Then we made the coal generator to create the electricity along with the bat box, battery box to hold that electricity. And finally the enrichment chamber which is used to double our ores for great efficiency. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic electricity tutorial. Um, that's everything you need. These are the basic machines you want to start off with. Very handy, especially the steel. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me if I missed out anything important. Thanks for watching.